Hello everybody, my name is Henry Zayas and uh, I am very excited today. I have a very important lesson for you guys uh, that I suggest you guys should take notes and uh, pay closely attention. Um, I am going to teach you guys um, how to capture leads using your WordPress blog. Um, if you guys are not familiar with leap capture pages or any uh, leap capture form or it's also known as squeeze pages and and also converting pages so uh, those are all the names for this type of uh, of page and what it basically does is it allows um, a potential customer to come into your page uh, put in their first name or last name and an email address then uh, once they do so they will receive a link in return to download uh, any free gift that you might want to give your potential customers uh, now it is very important for you to always and always remember this you have to provide something for your prospects of value and what I mean something from of value is something that they could use something that might interest them enough to put in their their username I'm sorry their, their name and and email address to receive the free content that you're offering uh, this is usually the best way uh, to capture uh, new leads for your business which means as soon as they put in their name and email you will receive a notification over your email uh, or your autoresponder saying that you have a new lead now depending on the information that the person puts on that box then you should be able to contact them either to email through email or through uh, phone if you would like to do so uh, now let's uh, hold back here a little bit mm. and by by this point um, all of you guys by now uh, should have have watched the uh, web mastery video and already have acquired your uh, neither GoDaddy or hosting host gator account and already set up your WordPress blog and ready to go well which I uh, highly recommend for you guys to always go in order when it comes to these tutorials that way you will not skip any step and uh, everything will be 100% clear to you guys so uh, if you haven't watched that video yet go ahead and watch it and take care of those steps first because this video is what proceeds right after that so there's no use of watching this video if you do not have a WordPress blog up and running right now so uh, let's go ahead and dive right into it we don't have that much time here uh, on this uh, this part one video as you know YouTube uh, limits to 13 minutes so let's go ahead and dive right into it so what you want to do first is you want to go ahead and up open uh, Microsoft Word and you want to go ahead and uh, write uh, something cashy something that you believe that your potential customers once they read it they will be interested in um, reading a little bit more and maybe potentially um, uh, signing up for that box or, or putting in their name and email address and becoming a lead so uh, I already have something pre-written which I'm gonna go ahead and grab here from my notepad just uh, to cons conserve some time go ahead and copy this and go ahead and paste it here alright I'm gonna go ahead and arrange this a little bit let me go ahead and make this center and let me go ahead and make this maybe a 24 and maybe in Times New Roman Let me make that bold italic. And maybe let this go ahead and get this free training, make it blue. And the rest. Okay, if you read here, something very simple. Sign up today and receive a free copy of the the best new network marketing ebook in the planet. Think and grow rich rich. Uh, if you guys haven't read this ebook, e ebook, go out there and get it. Read the ebook. Uh, it will completely change your mind state when it comes to online marketing or any type of business. But this is just for tutorial purposes. But uh, still, I'm gonna use this ebook as, you know, download the ebook at right after you sign up for. Uh, you put in your name and email address, which is what we want to do here to capture our leads. So there's something very simple here, as you can see. So what you want to do now is you want to go ahead and copy it because we're going to go ahead and paste it on the uh, on the WordPress blog. So 
we copy it we're gonna go and minimize this and we'll go ahead and open a web browser which I already have it open right at the online based university so uh, what you're gonna do is um, um, every single WordPress blog will have this here in the corner where you could maneuver and go right into the dash uh, dashboard and start customizing the blog so I suggest just opening a new tab and here we are at the dashboard of your blog so as I explained in the previous videos I uh, already explained uh, what most of these do so what you want to do here you want to go to pages and what you want to do you want to add a new page which is create a new page okay remember this page is going to be one of the pages on your blog so it's going to be visible uh, let's go ahead and uh, uh, name it free gift and make it exciting free gift and let's go ahead and paste what we copy from our Microsoft Word uh, what you want to do is uh, you want to go ahead and make sure that you came here already and right click and copy then go back to your blog um, maybe you want to centerize the uh, center and you want to this option here uh, before we get to that you always remember this hide uh, show and hide kitchen sink which means that once you press this more options will be here available for you more editing options if you are uh, originally by default it's gonna be like this so you as soon as you come to a new page click here and get the you know the all of the options available one of them will be paste from word that's what we're gonna use now so just click on paste from word and what you want to do is you want to click on control V to paste everything from word that we just um, and click insert now it's gonna be here it's gonna be translated into black we're gonna have to customize it a little bit let's go ahead and uh, highlight this and go here maybe uh, this is the size where it says paragraph where it says heading is the size of the text uh, one being the biggest one, two being the medium, and, and so forth. So let's go maybe number two here. This doesn't look that bad. Uh, let me see here. Okay, and then let's go ahead and make it red. Let's make this part red. And maybe make this part blue. Oops. And make this part maybe blue. As you can see, the sky's the limit. Uh, just get creative. I'm pretty sure you guys could come up with something a lot better than this. And I'm sure you guys uh, will do an excellent job creating your own lead catcher page. It is just a minor tutorial, just giving you a few ideas and, and allow you to you know, just extend those ideas on your own. Uh, so now what you want to do is, uh, now that we have our text, it's looking pretty good. We're going to go ahead and maybe uh, uh, go right on the middle here. And we're going to go ahead and add the image of the ebook that you are uh, providing to your customers uh, that's just for video pur purposes uh, you could add a picture of anything that you want or you could customize this as you wish for for this uh, tutorial I'm just gonna go ahead and and uh, go ahead and add the picture of the ebook that I'm going to be uh, think and go rich which I'm gonna be uh, giving the customers once they come in and put in their name and their valid email address let's go ahead what you do here you click on this little box here add media and uh, if you if you do not have the uh, the image uploaded to your WordPress blog yet you're just gonna go ahead and select file here and select it from your computer which I'm gonna use this one here I already have it ready for you guys let me go ahead and pause the video until this is done okay here we go okay so here is the image here uploaded so what you wanna do uh, now well this gives you a few options you could go ahead and rename the image uh, you could also go ahead add an alternate text put a caption a description or you could also link it to something uh, that way when people click on it it will automatically uh, link them to something uh, but in this uh, case it's just uh, a picture I'm gonna remove the link go to the bottom you could uh, also uh, put the picture in the center you, or you move it to the left to the right and I just work with it very very self-explanatory for the size in this case I'm gonna leave it at full size just as the image is and uh, that way because um, I know it's not that big so I'm gonna go ahead and just insert into post and there is the image